Hi guys, Miss Kimmy here for my very first YouTube video to share with you. It is a wonderful day today, not just because the sun is shining, but because you are here and you are in it. If you are like me, you've probably gotten a little tired of living at home and being in quarantine and not being able to go out very much. So today I just want to um, give you some space to be able to process that. It is so important for us to take that time to really figure out what we're feeling and why we're feeling it. If you have siblings or if you have parents or even your friends that you may have gotten a little frustrated by um, after being together so much. So over these next few weeks and months, I hope to be able to give you some tools to help you just process and navigate those feelings. The very first thing that I do want to remind you of is that you get to choose how you're feeling. Your feelings are valid. They exist. That doesn't mean that they are wrong or that they are bad, but sometimes our feelings can cause us to make bad choices or bad decisions and react in ways that are not helpful. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I do it all the time. So I want to remind you about Kelso's choices, that Kelso is our lovely green frog friend who teaches us a lot about our choices and our decisions and that we have that power. When somebody upsets us, when somebody makes us mad or you know, just sad even or hurt, we have that choice. And the very first thing that we always want to do if we are hurt or angry or upset is to take some space and walk away and wait to cool off. Um, one of the very best ways to do that is to actually remove yourself from the situation. So if you are in a house and you can't go outside, try to find another space, another room, even the bathroom where you can just close the door and take some deep breaths. So one of the things that I really like to do when we're kind of being figuring out how to wait and cool off is that deep breathing. There are a few different ways we can do this. One, simply taking five deep breaths, just counting to five, breathing in and breathing out and doing that five times. Another thing that I really like to do, you can have your hand and do the deep breathing in and out and in and out and using your hand to help guide your breathing. The last thing I really like to do, I call spiritual breathing. You don't have to be spiritual to do it, but it's the idea that you are breathing out the frustrating things or the, the things that are making you upset and breathing in positive and good things. So if I was mad at my sister, for example, I could say, okay, I'm going to release or I'm going to breathe out my anger and I'm going to breathe, breathe in something positive. I'm going to breathe in peace. I'm going to breathe out my frustration and I'm going to breathe in joy. So naming those things that you are breathing out and breathing in can also be really helpful for you as you take those steps back, quiet your heart, quiet your mind, quiet your body, so that then you can move forward and make those good decisions in the midst of all of your feelings. So I hope these three ways to deep breathe were helpful for you. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks and even some activities and games that are going to help you get through this time in quarantine. But you guys are awesome. You are wonderful. I love you. You are so loved and you are so cared for. And that's why we're here. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.